What's up everybody? Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I am super excited. I am pumped up for the Cursed City. It has been unlocked. Let's go. It says, explore the Cursed City, complete stages with unique challenges and earn awesome rewards. Defeat Amius the Lunar Archon. Take on a terrifying new boss to earn mythical gear and cursed remnants. Get a mythical champion. Complete Cursed City quest to get Carnage the Anarch and other great rewards. Man, I am super excited for this. Let's just get right into it. Let's just go. Welcome to the Cursed City. You'll need to clear stages across four districts by moving along paths and defeating enemies before climbing the Eclipse Tower and fighting Amius the Lunar Archon. Nice. You'll face familiar and new challenges alike, including double boss stages. Taking on two of Teleria's familiar foes at once will reward you with an Eclipse Key as well as other awesome rewards. That sounds absolutely terrifying. You'll need three Eclipse Keys to enter the Eclipse Tower at the heart of the Cursed City. There you'll face off against Amius, the Lunar Archon, and decide the fate of Centranos. Good luck. Let's go. I can't wait to bust this dude up. So I guess we have to check it out. We got Cobble Market. Got Dead Rise. Soul Cross. Plague home. And I'm guessing we got to start at P1, P2. We can pick where we want to start off at. D1, or do we have to start at C1 and, and work our way to D1? I'm not sure, but we're going to figure it out. Every stage has requirements that you must meet in order to complete it. They might restrict the rarity, faction, type, or affinity of champions you can use, and the requirements will get tougher the deeper into the city you go. That sounds absolutely brutal. All right, so we got Dark Elf, Knight's Revenant, Dwarfs, Magic only. Wow, okay, okay. That sounds fun, actually. We're getting into some, like, real deep stuff. The only problem with this game is actually acquiring all this stuff. It is so difficult, so time-consuming, so money-grubbing that, like, it's so hard to get all these champions that you want. But I do love the game type, like, needing all the champions, needing this, needing that. It's a good game type. I like it a lot. But the requirements needed to get all this stuff, man, absolutely ridiculous. That's just too much. All right. So after deliberating the map, taking a look at everything, analyzing the different paths, I think I decided to stay with Cobble Market, which I think is a pretty safe path. We're going to go C1, C2, C7, Bommel. We'll head up here to C11, C16. I'll have to decide between C24 and C17, because I think this is uh, like the mystical fragments to summon champions, and then go for the key here with the Eternal Dragon and Spider. Go ahead and get started. All right, so for the very first fight, we have Conditions, we have Banner Lords, High Elves, Sacred Order only. Go ahead and grab, go with the extra attack. I don't think Yannicka is leveled up. Let's go ahead and grab uh, Constant. Most people are probably going to grab Ronda. Go ahead and use Ronda. I don't know about their gear, but we'll see as far as it goes. Put on auto real fast. Go on times two speed. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, we're already wrecking them. All right, so Cobble Market seems kind of easy. Not having a lot of problems here. All right, Septimus is wrecking them, so everything's good. Septimus is not even very well geared either. Go to C2. All right, we have High Elves, Barbarians, Ogren Tribes. Go ahead and use some like accessible champions. I don't, I don't even know if I have my sill built up, but we'll for anyways. All right, we'll go with Supreme Elhain, Arbiter. We'll go with champions that are accessible. Yannicka. And one more. Sill. All right, there we go. I'm expecting another pretty easy run here. Yeah, hard mode is not looking hard at all, at least for the very first few levels. 
I think it'll probably pick up as we get a little deeper. All right, no problem, no problem. All right, back to map. Go ahead and hit C7. Okay, we have Lizardmen, Knights, Reverent, and Dwarfs. So Nekmothar was a guaranteed champion. We'll go ahead and use him. We have Pytheon, Fusion, Roll it Brogni, Newt. Just for the sake of it, Rockmar, since he's probably never even going to get to Crocmar here. Obviously, this is not a very good uh, turn count team using Pytheon, and, for example. That's okay. No worries. Not really going for uh, no speed runs here. Trying to find and use accessible champion. All right. Now we got Bommel. Whew. Ogren Tribes, Demon Spawn, Dark Elves. All right. I don't feel like this is going to be a terribly hard dungeon, so let's go ahead and go with Go with this guy. Got his name. Oelda's partner. Kenderfon, Mithrala, Marinix, and. Oh, I do have Warmother. Mother. Good user. Well, you go straight to Bommel. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right. Um, doesn't like buffs. Go ahead and use the A1. Let's go ahead and do the drop defense. Go ahead and go with the sleep. Oh no, it's freeze that works on them, right? All right, let's go ahead and on the hunt. Okay, so let's go ahead and do increase attack buff. Looking good. All right. And what is this gear? Merciless. Plus 10% attack, plus 15% crit damage, plus 5% speed. 30% chance to decrease a random skull's cooldown when dealing damage. Down here, 15% chance of getting an extra turn. Plus 35% to ignore defense. Wow. Not bad. I kind of like this set. I'm going to keep all the cheap pieces just in case, the five pieces. What we got here? Supersonic. Res, HP, speed. Fills the champion's turn meter by 2% for each buff on each enemy. Decreased turn meter effects placed by enemies on this champion are 30% less effective. Increases any fill meter, fill turn meter effects by on this champion by 30%. Interesting. All right, crash one. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to go with C11. High L Sacred Order Barbarians. Um, in female Hane, Arbiter, Yannicka, go with Jetney. And Deliana. Looking good. The waves is pretty fast. 40 lessers. Okay, so let's go to C16. I'm going to get some lesser oils. We got Lizardmen, Dark Elves, Knights Reverent. Go with Necmo, Ulten, Mithrala. Ramontu, and Marinic. 
So Necmo's built, Mithrala's built, Ramantu's built. Ulten's kind of built, I think, but not really fully built. Marinix is kind of partially built. But we're having no trouble with these waves. This is uh, 120 level mobs here. 90 was the previous ones. So we're definitely going up as we increase. I'm guessing cobblestone is probably pretty easy compared to like uh, soul cross. All right, so our option is C24 awaken stage, 130s, five awakenings, got defense. Then the other option is I'm guessing this is the mythical shard for the mythical champs, and this is the mythical fragment stuff for the crafting. We want crafting or do we want champion? See what our guildmates did here. Three here. Everybody went to nine. Mishinaki. Mishinaki. And Hariman. Like we're lacking just a little bit of damage to clear the waves in one shot. All right, eight turns, not bad. Okay, so mythical charms, exactly. Use for a chance of crafting mythical artifacts in the forge. Mythical, lethal, here we come. Oh, I see. I actually uh, messed up here. I thought this led to there for some reason. All right, um, I guess we got to go to this boss fight. A use for the War Maiden. I'm not sure exactly if mine's built up or not. UDK. Need UDK. That's the real question. All right. Go with... A2. Done on the A2. Done on the A2. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Bombs. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and take out, I guess, this guy. Resurrect. Okay, let's go ahead and take out this guy. I guess I should never even mess with the minions. Take. All right, 16. Merciless, uh, it's probably not the best stats for that one. Go ahead and use a uh, thing on that one to re-roll the stats. Eh, not good ones, not good ones, but at least we got something, right? All right, we got 12 mythical charms. Nice. So even though we kind of messed up what we did, we still finished a little faster. Not bad. See if we can do it again. Can we? Oh, we can run it again. Nice. All right, so we're going to hit him with A2. A2 again. A3, and we're about to get smacked back. Oh, the guy barely stayed alive with nothing. All right, A2 is going to finish him off. Counterattack A1. A3 with defense down. All right, I can use A3 here, but I'm not sure if I hit him if he'll die but i think if i hit the guy on the left the dragon bombs will finish him off where the bombs otherwise wouldn't have husk doing surprisingly massive damage with the a1 there getting smacked back but it's okay bombs will finish him off 
There we go. 10 turns, not bad for a speed run. You know, I realized my very first team I used to run this, and especially my uh, speed run, it was probably not very free-to-play friendly. Let's go ahead and run another uh, run here with a better team. We could probably even use Nishak, but he's probably not very, like, ideal for the ice boss. So, go ahead and do this here. Do the A2. All right, instead of using the A2 for Husk, what we'll do is we'll provoke the dragon. We'll drop the defense here. We'll go ahead and go ahead and work on the dragon for now. Go ahead and use UDK's A2. Go ahead and do the speed buff. All right, let's continue to use the A1 for Husk. Go ahead and take out this guy. All right. AOE. Go ahead and take out this other one over here. All right, now we can AOE the boss. Okay, revived everybody. Use a shield with the heal. Work on the dragon some more. Back to the A2. Dragon. Hopefully finish the dragon here. Work on the minions. Drop defense again. All right, one minion down. One more minion down. Went A1 right there, but uh, there really wasn't uh, a lot of great damage options there, right? All right, let's go ahead and take out the minion on the left. A2. Left minion again. All right, you see what we're doing. We're going to work on the minions. Then uh, work on the boss. Go ahead and A2. Oh, we triggered the, the boss there. My bad. Anyways, so A3. Go ahead and uh, we take out that guy. A3. Three again, decrease defense. All right, it's the last time they're bringing back the minions. Go ahead and hit the boss, finish them off. All right, there we go. So 41 turns, three minutes, manual. Ucko, Brachus doing the majority of the damage, along with Husk. War Maiden doing some damage, and UDK also contributing. All right, so that's it for today's video. I do have another video. I have a whole other account. I'm going to take it a whole different direction. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to drop it next. And then I'll have a day two with this account and a day two with the other account coming up after that one. Stay tuned for some more content. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the city of Centranos. I know my very first day I did. So far, so good. You guys take it easy. See you guys in the next video. Peace.